Hey everyone, welcome back to Linux Network. I'm really excited about today's video because we've got some fresh news from the world of Linux and open source software. The KDE project has just released the beta version of KDE Plasma 6.4 and is packed with new features, improvements and quality of life updates that many of you have been asking for. So, in today's video, we're going to break down what KDE Plasma 6.4 is, what new stuff it brings to the table and why it's worth getting excited about, even if you're brand new to KDE or Linux in general. Grab your coffee, sit back and let's dive right into it. Now, before we get into what's new in version 6.4, let's quickly explain what KDE Plasma is for those of you who might be new here. KDE Plasma is a desktop environment, basically it's the part of your Linux system that you interact with visually. It handles your menus, icons, taskbar, system tray, notifications and window management. Think of it like Windows Desktop or Mac OS Finder and Dock. Plasma is just one of many desktop environments available for Linux and is known for being highly customizable, fast and future rich. And with KDE Plasma 6, they made some huge changes earlier this year. And now version 6.4 is here in beta form, getting ready for its official release. Alright, let's talk about what's actually new in KDE Plasma 6.4 beta. First up, if you've ever taken a screenshot on KDE, you've probably used Spectacle. Well, in Plasma 6.4, Spectacle is getting a major UI revamp. That means it's going to look cleaner, more modern and be easier to use. Perfect for people like me who take a ton of screenshots for tutorials, thumbnails or social media. You'll be able to capture screenshots faster and with a much smoother experience. This new one is really cool for people who love organizing their workflow. Plasma 6.4 introduces support for per virtual desktop costume tile layouts. Now, what does that mean? Well, on KDE Plasma you can have multiple virtual desktops, basically extra workspaces you can switch between. Think of them like having multiple computer screens without the physical monitor. And with this new feature, you can set a different window tiling layout for each of those desktops. So you may have one desktop with a vertical split, another with a grid layout and so on. It's a great way to organize your apps and work the way you like it. Another handy improvement, you can now control whether a window has a title bar and frame directly from its task manager context menu. Now let's break that down for beginners. The task manager is basically your taskbar where open applications are shown. A context menu is that little menu you get when you right click something. So now, if you right click an app on your taskbar, you'll be able to quickly remove its title bar and frame if you want giving you a cleaner, more immersive window, perfect for videos, games or presentations. Next up, you can now fully disable system tray icons for apps that don't have their own internal setting for that. For those new to KDE, the system tray is that little section in your taskbar where small icons for background apps live, like volume controls, network connections or chat apps. Some apps used to show icons there whether you wanted them or not. Now, Plasma 6.4 lets you take control and hide those icons if you don't need them. A nice way to declutter your taskbar. If you use KRunner, that little search bar you can summon with Alt plus Space to quickly find files, apps and do calculations, you'll be happy to hear that search results ordering has been improved. That means the things you're looking for should appear more logically and predictably, saving you time. Speaking of KRunner, it can now handle version types of color codes. For example, if you type in a color like this, KRunner will recognize it and even let you copy or preview it. A very handy little feature for developers, designers and content creators. Another welcome improvement, persistent notifications can now be sent to the notification history. In simple terms, it means that if you miss a notification, you'll still be able to find it in the system's notification history later. No more accidentally missing important alerts. Plasma 6.4 also lets you customize how long the fade desktop effect takes when switching between virtual desktops. So if you like a fast snappy transition or a slower, smoother one, you're in control now. The KDE menu editor, also known as KMenu Edit, has been revamped too. This tool lets you customize the application menu, adding, removing or editing how apps are listed. Plasma 6.4's version makes it easier to manage and organize your menus exactly how you like it. Plasma 6.4 adds a new feature to the Plasma System Monitor. There is a new Background Service section under the application page. This groups background processes together so you can easily see what's running behind the scenes on your system. Super helpful if you're trying to troubleshoot or just want to monitor your system's performance. The Kickoff Application Launcher, basically KDE's version of the Start menu, now highlights apps you've just installed. 
a small but thoughtful touch so you don't forget about the new tool you grab from Discover or your package manager. Finally, one of my favorite little tweaks. Now, when you drag and drop a file or a folder to another location on the same disk, the system can be configured to move it by default, instead of asking you what to do every single time. A small change, but it really helps improve your workflow and saves those extra clicks. Now, you're probably wondering, when can I get my hands on the final version of KDE Plasma 6.4? Well, according to KDE team, the final stable release is expected on June 17, 2025. But these Tron maintainers, those are the people who package KDE for your Linux distribution, will get access to the final code on June 12, 2025. That way, they have time to test and integrate it into your system software updates as quickly as possible. If you can't wait and want to test the beta version right now, you can. It's already available in the testing edition of Open Susa Tumbleweed and KDE Neon. But a quick warning, this is a pre-release version which means it may have bugs or unfinished features. It's not recommended for your main computer or production work. If you're curious though, spin it up in a virtual machine or a spare laptop and give it a go. So there you have it, that's everything new and exciting in KDE Plasma 6.4 Beta. If you enjoyed this breakdown, give the video a like and don't forget to subscribe for more Linux news, tutorials and distro reviews. And hey, let me know in the comments what features you're most excited about in Plasma 6.4. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.